this is Math 142. This is the practice final. And I'm going to do problems 17 and 18 together in this video. And they're both um, where I'm given something in rectangular form and I want to convert it into polar form. And I'll do this uh, one at a time. Um, what I want is x and y entirely gone. And I want my equation solved for r. So this one, uh, x squared plus y squared, that's equal to r squared. So r squared equals 16. So if I square root both sides, plus or minus square root of 16, I get r equals plus or minus 4. And since it's just a, a radius, I don't need the plus or minus. So r is equal to 4. All right, that is 17. And looking at 18, uh, we'll just find. Um, looking at 18, I'm going to do some substitutions here. Um, I know that y is r times sine theta. Whoops. And y is squared. And that's equal to 5 times x. x is r times cosine theta. And I actually don't need those parentheses. So 5r cosine theta. Over here, these are both squared. And that's r times sine. So r gets squared. And the sine gets squared as well. So um, I want to work to solve for r. I think I'll divide both sides by r. Divides out to a 1 over there. So I have 5 times cosine of theta. Uh, r squared divided by r is no, r. So I have r times sine squared theta. And I want r all alone, so I'm going to divide both sides by sine squared theta. So r is equal to 5 times cosine of theta over sine squared theta. So that is a true statement. Uh, I, don't, I didn't mean to scribble that out. I meant to erase it. Um, but I think I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to think of this as 5 times cosine over sine. And since that sine is squared, it would be like times 1 over sine as well. So then what I can do is I can... Uh, can I translate those pieces? Um, so this is the same as 5, that's cotangent, times the cotangent of theta, and 1 over sine is cosecant, and that's multiplied by theta. So there we go. Here's the answer to 